How often do you feel like you don't have time to keep up with the news? Every day the feed is abuzz with new headlines, but how many of them are actually worthwhile? Lately, everyone's practically obsessed with ChatGPT. But besides creating super smart AI, scientists are making global discoveries every year. In their work, they encounter mysteries of nature, serious diseases, climate change, and more. In this episode, we have collected 15 shocking discoveries that can change our world today. Artificial intelligence that reads minds, a chip in the brain that seems to do magic, resurrection of extinct species, new unexplored galaxies, brain patches, and much, much more. I'm Nick. Let's get it. But first... In our previous videos, we got the hint you guys love raffles, so this time we're giving away another $50 gift card to the ones who are lucky enough to be chosen by YouTube Random Comment Picker. If you want to find out how you can participate in the giveaway, watch this video to the end. Alright, and now, let's get it. Scientists are learning how to repair damage in the brain. Researchers from the US and China have grown organoids of human brain neurons and transplanted them into the visual cortex of rats. The traumatized rodents had vision problems, but the organoids took root. Within three months, they had grown into the animal's brains. Human neurons connected to the visual neurons of rats and began to respond to light stimuli that has acquired specific functions of the visual cortex. Whether the scientists were actually able to fully restore the rodent's vision remains unclear. Abundant testing is still ahead, but the very fact that the nerve tissue could potentially restore the damaged brain gives medicine a run for its money. The authors plan to use these organoids in other areas of the brain, not just the visual cortex. What if it was possible to not only repair damaged brain, but also, for example, enhance your brain capabilities? If you had to choose, what brain functions would you improve? Mind reading is no longer something unusual. Now we can easily see into another person's head thanks to artificial intelligence. Functional magnetic resonance imaging is a tool that allows us to record the activity of the human brain. By looking at these images, neuroscientists can learn what areas of a person's brain have been engaged, but they can't see what they were thinking about. This was the case until recently, when two experts from Osaka University in Japan decided to combine tomography with AI. A neural network converts brain activity data and generates images of thoughts. Scientists claim that in the future this discovery will help people who have lost their ability to speak. Yeah. Sure, that's the main purpose of the research, Osaka University, mm-hmm. It's a good idea, but I'm thinking more tracking and controlling thoughts, just like Orwell predicted. Agree or disagree? Share your comments below. Remember the British TV show Fortitude? Well, apparently the scientists liked it too and started putting this plot into action. Why else would they revive a worm that has spent 42,000 years in permafrost? A nematode, that's what these creatures are called, froze in a gopher hole when mankind entered the late Paleolithic era. This is an absolute world record. To realize that scientists had to study hundreds of samples of permafrost soil extracted in eastern Siberia. But finally, their labors were graced with a reward. To date, this is a unique case of obtaining viable samples of invertebrate animals that have lain in a preserved state for almost ever. The discovery will spur a major study of other frozen creatures, and there's only one tiny drawback or suggestion, if you will. Instead of trying to resurrect amoebas of the past with potentially disastrous consequences, how about fixing what's already here first? What do you guys think? This past year has been amazing for a diversity of humanoid robots, and we're not talking about gender fluidity. Developers are pushing not only to make the model stronger, but also to introduce artificial intelligence, which makes the bots more versatile. For example, Google DeepMind announced Robotics Transformer 2, the first visual language and action model. This model can understand both text and images. The user can give the robot a simple command, such as throw out the trash, and the robot will know what to do even if it has never executed this command before. Just don't point at your spouse when you ask it to do it. 
Another example, research students from Stanford University worked with Google DeepMind to create an open source robot called Mobile Alpha. It's a bulky, wheel-based design with a 12-hour battery, laptop, overhead camera, and robotic arms with claws. It doesn't look particularly amazing, but this tech is capable of performing a variety of tasks that robots couldn't do before. For example, frying chicken or covering someone with a blanket. The mobile robot learns by repeating the actions of a human with special controllers in his hands. 50 repetitions are enough to reach a task accuracy level of 90%. This means that you can keep training the robot to improve its skills. It quickly learns new commands, which allows you to teach it to perform almost any everyday task. The company Figure is also actively mastering a new method of learning. Their robot O1 is capable of autonomously repeating human actions. At the demonstration, it had to brew coffee. To learn a new skill, the robot spent 10 hours studying a corresponding video. The algorithm is stored in the library as a new skill and can be easily transferred to another robot. Compared to the success of Mobile Alpha, Figure's robot seems a little less impressive. But that's just the beginning. Now, to teach a robot a command, you just need to show it what to do. It's too early to make any predictions, but perhaps this year we'll see a rapid leap and come one giant step closer to all the cyberpunk we've been shown in all the movies from before. Yay or nay? Energy issues remain a pressing matter for mankind. American startup Last Energy aims to revolutionize the nuclear industry through standardization. The company builds small modular reactors capable of generating enough electricity to power individual factories or small residential neighborhoods. Inside a 30 by 30 feet building or 9 by 9 meters sits a 20 megawatt water and pressurized reactor. Each plant has a lifespan of about 40 years. Now my question is, what do you do with it after? Recycle? Chinese scientists have created a battery that does not require charging and can work for several decades. The Betavolt company has presented a prototype of a compact atomic battery measuring 0.6 by 0.2 inches or 15 by 5 millimeters. The creators claim that the small device is capable of generating 3 volts without downtime for 50 years. Remember Tony Stark's generator? So the Chinese development is much smaller but stands tall in terms of power. And unlike Tony Stark's generator, you can actually fit it in your pocket. To date, the power of the device is 100 microwatts, but the creators plan to increase it to a whole watt. Betavolt's atomic batteries can meet long-term power needs in a variety of applications such as airspace, artificial intelligence equipment, medical devices, and more. This is what the company said in their press release. It's possible that this invention will be the key to solving the energy crisis. The invention is undergoing pilot tests as we speak. Scientists say that after testing, mass production will be launched for phones and drones. Imagine having the same phone for 40 years. Late last year, scientists announced the creation of the world's first neuromorphic supercomputer. This is a monumental achievement that has the potential to change the future of AI, computing, and our understanding of the human brain. Deep South Computer, as it's called, is capable of mimicking neural networks of the human brain, performing 228 billion synaptic operations per second, at a time when the brain's fastest synaptic transmission takes about one millisecond. The development of the computer was led by the International Center for Neuromorphic Systems in Australia, out of all places. The scientists' goal was to overcome a hurdle in brain science and artificial intelligence by mimicking the enormous scale of human neural networks. In addition to speed, Deep South is notable for its efficiency. Neuromorphic chips require less power compared to traditional supercomputers. The computer uses off-the-shelf commercial components, making it very affordable. It's a simple yet reliable technique for use in data centers around the world. Another distinguishing feature of the computer is its flexibility. Experts can customize the machine into different neural architectures. Already, some experts claim that Deep South could be a breakthrough in the field of creating general artificial intelligence. And as we know, that's the holy grail. To date, Frontier is the world's first exascale computer, meaning it can perform more than one quintillion calculations per second. It has about 48,000 different processors altogether. 
All elements are connected by nearly 34 miles or 56 kilometers of network cable alone, forming a single computer. The memory capacity is 700 petabytes, which you have to multiply by 1000 if you want the terabyte size. Scientists note that this is the first supercomputer in history to overcome the barrier of exascale. This means that it's capable of performing more than a trillion 10 to the 18th power operations per second. In addition, Frontier is the fastest artificial intelligence system. The developers unveiled the machine in the summer of 2022. Technology immediately took first place in the list of 500 most powerful supercomputers. In its first year, Frontier helped scientists to model a galaxy similar to the Milky Way, as well as a new type of jet engine architecture that can rapidly reduce carbon dioxide emissions. The international team, which included experts with the Frontier computer, won the ACM Gordon Bell Award for modeling particles in cells on supercomputers. The successful supercomputer result was a big step towards a new era in modeling laser plasma interactions, which, if you're familiar with, then please let me know in the comments what that actually means. The James Webb Telescope has cast doubt on the Big Bang Theory. Oh no! Were scientists wrong about the origin of the universe all along? To date, James Webb is the largest space telescope. Its area is larger than that of the Hubble Telescope with 215 square feet or 20 square meters and its mirror diameter spanning 13 feet or 4 meters. James Webb collects much more light and sees the most distant and removed objects than any of its predecessors. In 2023, photos from the telescope caused astonishment in the astronomical community. The press immediately dubbed this discovery as the crisis of modern cosmology. The established theory states that first stars began to ignite 550 million years after the Big Bang. Then they needed to form galaxies in the centers of which black holes should have formed. That's a long process, folks. So finding galaxies 500 million years old from the Big Bang is a challenge. Hypotheses began to emerge about how to rescue the current theory of cosmology, which otherwise answers all the questions. At the moment, scientists have agreed that the found galaxies may be the result of the process of inflation that is super fast, faster than the speed of light even, expansion of our world in the first moments of its existence. To completely disprove the standard theory of cosmology will take time to build a telescope even more powerful than James Webb that will be able to capture the spectrum of distant galaxies. The diameter of its lens would probably have to be the size of a basketball court. Only then will mankind know the truth. Scientists have used AI to get a paralyzed patient back on his feet. Neurobiologists and neurosurgeons from the Federal Polytechnic School of Lausanne in Switzerland and the University of Grenoble Alps in France have used a neurointerface to restore the ability to walk to a man paralyzed after a spinal cord injury. A Dutchman, Gert Jan Oskarn, who was unable to walk for over 10 years now due to an accident, had implants implanted in his brain and spine. Holes about 2 inches or 5 centimeters in diameter were cut in the patient's skull on both sides above the areas of the brain involved in controlling movement. They inserted two disc-shaped implants that pick up and wirelessly transmit brain signals to two sensors attached to a helmet. Thus, scientists have created a virtual bridge between the organs of a human body and a computer. The algorithm developed by the specialist translates the received signals from the brain into instructions for movement of the leg and foot muscles with the help of a second implant connected to the spinal cord. And after 40 rehabilitation sessions using this technology, Gert Jan was able to regain his ability to move. He was able to control his hips and feet. Eventually, after a course of rehabilitation using the interface, the man who had been bedridden for 12 years was able to walk short distances with the help of crutches. Research results look promising, and this is just the beginning. If technology has been able to restore the ability to walk in a paralyzed man, what results could be achieved in people with minor injuries? So far, scientists are in no hurry to massively use the neurointerface for rehabilitation. More clinical trials will be needed, they say, but it's certainly a medical breakthrough. In the spring of 2023, Chinese scientists from Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou found an antidote to the world's deadliest mushroom. Statistics show that 90% of mushroom-eating deaths involve Amanita phylloidus, simply put, toadstool. 
The peptide contained in this mushroom leads to liver and kidney failure. Scientists asked a neural network to find a molecule used on humans in drugs that could counteract the poison. The neural network pointed to indocyanine green. This dye is used to determine cardiac output, liver function, blood flow in the liver, and stomach. The substance is able to block the toxic effects of the toadstool. Death from the poison occurs after a short period of time, a day or two, depending on the person's health. Scientists have found that if an antidote is administered in the first four hours after poisoning, it will stop liver damage and protect against the toxin. We don't yet know the exact dates when the drug will hit the market. I wonder if it will be possible to buy the antidote at the nearest pharmacy to the forest or if the discovery is only good in theory. But my biggest question is, how did they test this out? In 2023, Google and Huawei unveiled groundbreaking AI-based weather prediction innovations. Graphcast and Pangu Weather AI models find patterns in past data to predict weather up to 10 days in advance. They do this faster and require less power to operate than traditional methods. The Graphcast model competed with the European Center for Medium-Turn Weather Forecasts, which is considered the gold standard system. As a result, it turned out that in some cases, the forecast from Graphcast was 99.7% more accurate. Specialists in Google said that the system is able to predict extreme weather events even before their first signs. For example, the GraphCast model was able to more accurately predict Hurricane Lee, which was moving towards Nova Scotia. The AI reported it three days earlier than traditional meteorological models. Check out our video of top 10 industries where AI is already raking in big bucks, found in the description below. Remember the plot of the cartoon Wally? -E? Saving his beloved, the little robot finds himself on a spaceship. The people there are overweight and use special chairs to move around the ship. According to the International Obesity Federation report, in 2023, almost 40% of the world's population was overweight or obese. Therefore, news of a cure for this disease seems as grandiose as news of a cure for cancer. Although a caloric deficit and fasted high-intensity interval training seem to be doing just fine for some, there's this little gem. GLP-1 against obesity is an effective and safe therapy that can reduce the risks of heart disorders and strokes. The drugs are created based on the glucagon-like peptide 1. They've passed all clinical trials and have appeared on the pharmaceutical market several years ago. Initially, the drugs were developed for the treatment of diabetes, but in the process of clinical trials, it turned out that the drug caused significant weight loss. Now they're being used on a massive scale. One such drug, Wegovi, helped Elon Musk to lose weight and look ripped. The main disadvantage of this drug is obviously dependence. To get and maintain the result, you need to constantly take this medication. Here it is worth considering the high cost and individual side effects in the form of nausea and various allergies. So the magic pill has its disadvantages as well and will not solve the problem with excess weight once and for all. Would you be okay with shooting up with this thing every day just to look ripped? In China's Shantou University, a group of scientists presented an innovative microscope controlled by artificial intelligence. This microscope is set to revolutionize malaria diagnosis in resource-limited regions of Africa and Asia. Today, a vaccine for the disease already exists and is actively used, but traditional methods of diagnosis are outdated. Until now, trained specialists manually counted parasites and white blood cells. With a shortage of doctors and a large number of infected people, this is critical. AI technology in a microscope can automatically detect malaria parasites in real time and count white blood cells within minutes. In recent years, Africa has become a testing ground for new technologies. In 2022, Rwanda became the first nation in the world to use drones to deliver blood and essential medicines to rural hospitals. The breakthrough came after an agreement was reached between the government and the U.S. manufacturer Zipline. Kayonza has 10 drones at its center, each flying up to 14 times a day and delivering valuable supplies to five rural hospitals and three health centers in eastern Rwanda. Let's see how that goes. We got fingers crossed.
Mankind continues to find mysteries in our own universe. Mercury shares an orbit around the sun with a ring of dust millions and millions of miles or kilometers long. Where it could have come from is unknown. Scientists are surprised by the number of particles that are near the sun where the environment is somewhat aggressive. The ring itself was discovered five years ago, but in 2023, details came piling up. The mass of the ring, if you collect all the fine visible particles, is about the same size as an asteroid with a diameter of a mile or one and a half kilometer. This so far disproves the hypothesis of material ejected from Mercury's surface. New measurements have shown that all the bodies falling on the planet could not have pushed so many particles outward. Recently, the Bepi Colombo probe caught up with the planet, which provided a lot of new data. Perhaps the mystery of the dust ring will be solved in the near future. Two British mathematicians have analyzed the national lottery and figured out how many tickets you need to buy to be guaranteed winner. Previously, these scientists have done work in combinatronics and discrete mathematics. This new gig involves a lottery where a person buys a ticket and chooses numbers between 1 and 59. The order of the numbers then is chosen at random. The player gets a prize if the numbers match the chosen values from 2 and up. There's a total of 46 million combinations to this. Mathematicians found that players need to buy a minimum of only 27 tickets, which to me seems oddly small. Researchers say, however, that the chances of making a profit are very small and should not be used as a reason to gamble. When the theory was tested in the July 1st, 2023 lottery, the men were only able to guess two values and three tickets. But the study went viral on the internet. Ordinary people conducted experiments and tested the theory through personal experience, fueling interest in the mathematical theory of the message about a married couple who won almost 2,000 pounds. At the same time, the spouses said they spent less than 60 pounds on a ticket. No word from those unfortunate ones yet, though. But judging by the fact that the National Lottery did not change its rules, the number of winners has probably not really increased. Folks, this is where we tell you about the rules to participate in our giveaway. So 50 bucks gift card goes to the person who A, subscribes to our YouTube channel and our Instagram page, and B, answers the following question in the comments under this video. And the question is, which movie starring a famous Scientologist bears a canny resemblance to the AI telepathy piece from Osaka University that we just talked about? That's it, folks. These interesting and sometimes frightening discoveries were made last year, and they keep coming. Our team is confident that 2024 will amaze us even more. New discoveries and inventions are ahead, so subscribe to stay tuned for more updates from the world of high tech.